Hello and welcome to Only Frames and welcome to another matchup from the Roundsgate Rail Pool League Invitational. Today is a Division 2 clash and it's between Lou the Dog and Chris, also known as Nob. It's best of eight, it's black ball rules and first of five wins. We don't need to play out all of the frames. So I, for one, am hoping for 5 nil either way because I am paid by the game rather than by the frame. As you'll see, the editors get their picks each week and I am a mile clear. I know the dog and I'm forever predicting his results right but will I be right today? Can Lou win 5-1? He's certainly the favourite so far in Division 2 and he has been playing super well as he slaps one into the middle there, showing us early. He's all about podding balls and not necessarily position as all of a sudden he's tied that eight up and potentially it would have gone beforehand. Now on the right-hand side of the screen, you would see the Lou ball counter. Now, anyone who's watched our channel before will no doubt know what a Luba is. But if you're new to Only Frames, let me give you a quick introduction to why we call them Lubals and why on earth we even count them. Now, Louis, the guy at the table sinking that yellow ball there, has an unbelievable ability to pot the cue ball from nowhere. He can create angles. He can do it off six cushions. And if he isn't potting it, generally he's sending it flying off the table. The most he's ever performed within one match is eight Lou balls. So now we count them and have our own personal records. And potentially he could be sending it here, but he only plays it nicely. I thought he might really larrup it and send that cue ball going flying. But he has given Nob his first chance at a real go at this frame. Can he sink these four reds? This first one down to the bottom right. Nicely done and nicely in position to take this one down the bottom left. But does he play on that one towards the middle? But he's missed the pot. He's forgot to even pot it. And surely now, Lou the Dog will roll this in, take a 1-0 lead and continue his march on to the title. This guy has gone from outsider to favourite. At this rate, he could be in Division 1 in no time time and we wouldn't have predicted that so long ago as he makes it 1-0 we move to the second frame Lou the dog's breaking them and that is a good break although they have all stayed clustered together towards that bottom part of the table now it looks like Lou is going to take the yellows and roll this one into the middle pocket. That's potentially the right choice as they look the slightly better ball. But he cannons the red and that's his first cue ball of the day. And that's a Lou ball. It only took one frame. I told you this guy has a magnet on that cue ball. He can send it in from absolutely anywhere as Chris rolls his first red in. But he's missed here, so why is he coming back to the table? We play black ball rules. It's a shot and a visit. These two are more Wasn't your on. Turn. How is this That's I did not condone this. Is Chris the new Brad? Is Chris cheating? Hmm, I wonder. I'm not going to call him out, but let us know your thoughts in the comments. Why has he stayed at the table? Lou wasn't looking. Is this all a ploy? Is he trying to get under the dog's skin? The dog is the favourite. If Chris could beat him, this would be an unbelievable victory for him. As we see another Lubo. He's on two already and we're only in the second frame. Potentially my prediction of four is far too conservative. Is he going to be able to beat his record of eight today? But this is a great chance for Nob. But he can't sink that one to the bottom right, bringing the dog back to the table. Now, as you guys all know, Lou the Dog is a popular figure among Only Frames fans. He is a cult hero and the second most popular player on the channel. And recently, we was all at a wedding where he was signing autographs. He was having selfies done with everyone. But he come up to me after. He was after my advice. He wants to look and feel a bit better. He wants to lose a few pounds. So we started researching ways that he could potentially do that and what we found was that every minute of intercourse you have you lose between three and four calories so louis worked it out that he's probably lost one calorie this whole 
Yeah, what a bark as he can't even sink that yellow ball. Once again, giving Chris another opportunity to level this up and make it 1-1. It's the pressure of being favourite, finally getting to the dog. But no, he gets another opportunity. Two yellows over the hole. This guy can't miss it. I mean, he is a bit of a haddock, but he's in Division 2. He's going to get loads of chances. If he was up in Division 1, he'd be getting slammed up again as he slams that one into the bottom left pocket surely now it can't go wrong all he's got to do is not snooker himself or more importantly not pot that cue ball can he see the eight i think he can he's left it conservative which nobody wants to be anymore don't bloody get me started on politics, but he can't sink the eight. He's a melt. He melted like an ice cream in the desert, giving Nob his 16th chance to win this frame and make it 1-1. Going to send this one to the top right-hand pocket. Can he send it home? Yes, he can, but he's finished tight to this red. Be careful now, Nob. We don't want to accuse you of being another Brad and playing a push shot here. This is push shot territory. How is he going to play it? Keep your eyes locked in on this one. Oh, I'm not sure. It's going to be irrelevant because Lou the dog can see the eight over the hole. It looked a bit pushy to me. Maybe we should ask Brad because he knows all about push shots and he is a cheat. Having recently featured on a massive video on our channel called Cheaters, where he is the star of the show. Lou makes it too. We move on to the third and Lou the dog's playing the red ones. As we rejoin the action, Lou the dog is at the table stretching up to try and pot that red into the top right hand pocket. So far today we have seen a lot of Lou the dog, but we haven't seen much knob, which is a moral I try to live by at all all times but for Lou to continue at the table here he is gonna need to come up with something out of the ordinary what will he come up with with that bottom red cut to the middle no it won't he try to play it off the yellows but unfortunately he wasn't capable of doing it bringing knob to the table to try and get a frame on the board so far today, we haven't seen much of Nob and what he is capable of, but he is a capable potter. Will we see that as this game unfolds, as Lou the dog gets back to the table? And all of a sudden, this is a real frame-winning chance. None of these balls are tricky, but holding on to the cue ball for Lou is always problematic. But if he can sink this long red, he should be on that last one with that eight ball sat over the hole. But this isn't easy. Can he cue straight? Only time will tell. Normally he blasts it, but he tried to roll it and that missed by a good foot or two. That was closer to the middle of the cushion than it was to that top left-hand pocket as Nob gets back to the table and looks to just hit the balls round and he flukes one to the middle. This guy's a genius. I didn't see that angle, but he found it, although it wasn't there. But now he still has the two yellows on that right-hand cushion. They are no doubt going to prove problematic as this frame unfolds, but he's going to look to chop this one down into that bottom left hand pocket that wasn't a bad effort sometimes you can miss a ball completely playing those but if nothing else he has left Lou in a precarious position with his reds they were beautiful but now they are not looking so good a bit like when you wake up after a night in the boozer and you think you've landed a 10 just to realize you had certainly not and really you'd got yourself a miss piggy as lou sinks his third lubel of the day and chris gives him an absolute clout just to see if he can create something and all of a sudden this could be on for knob if he can pot a good one which he can't but he can disturb lou's red this has gone to pieces how this has made the highlights is beyond me surely the dog's gonna sink this if we are still remaining at this frame which he duly does that is a great pot and that could feature in our best shots of the month compilation which is available on our instagram and our tiktok and our youtube shorts lou Put up the tag so people can see them, my friend, because I can't remember what they are. I've got a big enough job on trying to commentate on this diabolical standard. As Chris misses again, 
The knob is not coming out to play so far today, but will that change as this match goes on? Now, just the simplest of roll-ins. You'll be on the eight ball if you hit it nice and soft, which he does. This now to the top left for 3-0. Can the dog do it? Yes, he can. As we move on to the fourth frame with Lou the dog to break as he sinks another Lou ball. That is for... And no doubt my prediction has no chance of coming in now. As we rejoin the action in the full frame, Nob is at the table and he is playing those red cherries. Can he get a frame on the board? What's he looking to come up with here? He's looking to send that to the top left, which he cannot do. And we skip forward about three hours with Lou the dog at the table. He's playing the yellow balls. All of a sudden, only four remained as that eight tried to go in, but it didn't quite get to that middle. This is a new Lou dog. Before them, eights would have gone in every time he went near the pocket. But is he losing his powers? Is he a completely changed man? This is something we need to find out. I mean, he's winning games with confidence. Does he lose his ability to pot the eights and the cue balls early? As he has another go at trying to pot that eight, but he's given Nob a chance. But these aren't easy. That red by the eight and the yellow are going to prove difficult throughout this frame. As he lands an absolutely audacious double, that could potentially feature in our best shots of the month compilation as well could he develop the red here he could but he forgot to pot it that was a really good attempt to develop it but does this yellow pass the eight into the middle i'm pretty sure it does and if he can make it this is a real frame winning chance he's gonna look to take this to the top right now if he stuns it in he'll be on that last yellow but he what is he doing that's another loo ball that is five, and we've only played three and a half frames as Chris doubles again. This guy is a double master, but he's not potting them without the doubling, which he does all of a sudden. These are two good pots in a row. How's your luck? Can he see that last red? I believe he can because he's down on it early, and we know a knob loves to go down early, but he hits the jaw. That was for victory, but he hasn't left this cube all easy. That is touching that top cushion, and these are very, very tricky pots, especially for someone of Lou's capabilities, but he is in form. He is power ranked number one with it, only frames at the moment. But that is misplaced. He can't be making shots like that. This is where the guy needs to improve. As Nob has the simplest of chances to get his first frame on the board. And potentially a comeback. But he doesn't want it. He's giving Lou another chance. What can he do here though? All I can really see is a potential double. This doesn't cut back in. Where's he going to look to? What is going on? What am I witnessing? Has he been having lessons off Scott? That is pathetic. I expect better off Lou. For anyone who doesn't know Scott, and I'm sure you don't because he is a dreadful bore. I mean, he makes onions cry. He is Mr. Pragmatism of Oni Frames. He'd make the Bermuda Triangle disappear because he is so boring. And Lou's been watching him. If he's playing shots like that... All of a sudden, Lou the dog will not be my hero anymore. As he plays two in a row, you dirty dog. Get out, get out, get out. We do not condone that on this channel. And once again, Nob gets out of it and he flukes it. That's what you get for being boring, Mr. Dog. We are not going to be having that on this channel. You're meant to be flamboyant. Roll it in, Chris. Yes, lovely frame. Let's hope the comeback is on as we join the fifth frame with Nob at the table playing the yellow balls. Now, Nob will be looking to get a grip on this match after the victory of the last frame. But can he build on those foundations? That was a nice pot up to the top left-hand pocket as he looks to take this yellow to the middle, which he duly does. He scratches his head, although it went in. What was the guy hoping for? After a nice cannon on the eight, he is still on those yellows. 
and he has tried to do something with that. I'm not sure if he tried to double it. I'm not sure if he tried to cut it, but he has given Lou the dog a chance to get to four and to be on the hill. But that eight is in a tricky position. Will he look to disturb it early or leave a position on his last red to try and disturb it off that one? Or will he just hope for the best? He just whacks it and gets nowhere near that eight ball, nor near the position that is required. Although that cue ball is getting better, he may have developed the angle through more luck than judgment. But he manages to go round the back of it. Maybe this time, yes, he has disturbed the eight, but he hasn't made it any better. This is either a fin cut up to that top right. He could look for the cross double or a full in the face double up to the top left. We don't know what he's done, but I know it hasn't gone in. But now it has. It's 4-1, you lucky little rat. And I thought Chris was the luckiest player on Only Frames. Lou is forever bemoaning how unlucky he is. But he has had all his Christmases come at once there with that shot. As we move on to the sixth frame, Louis needs one more, but he is guaranteed a draw. He needs one more to win this and to maintain his 100% start in the division of divs. That's division two to anyone who doesn't know. As Chris scratches his head once again, very disappointed with what's unfolding within this match so far. Lou just needs a one more frame. He is flying in this division. Should he even be in the division? I mean, that is a lot to ask. Is he one of those players, a bit like a side in the championship? A Watford, for instance, who used to yo-yo up and down outside of the Premier League. But every time they come up, they'd get relegated. Would Lou stay up playing the way he is now? Let us know your thoughts in the comments I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he can handle the pressure of the big matchups like playing against myself or Joe or Steve, who is in red hot form right now. As Nob looks to get another frame on the board, but he rattles his last yellow and he was nicely on that eight. But can Lou hold his nerve? Can Lou pop three reds and the eight ball and get himself a 5-1 victory, which I predicted. That was nothing against Nob. Nob can play, but Louis has been the master of this division so far, and that is a beautiful cannon. He has really developed that red. Now just the two of them, natural position, leaves himself nicely on it. This is all about position on the eight ball. Can he find it? He can't really. He'll be disappointed. He does have a shot, though. He walks away from the table. He's getting nervous. He's 4-1 up. What a melt. I'm telling you now, he will get nowhere near with this attempt. He's taken too long. He's a rhythm player. And that's closer to the middle. What a prat. He'll be disappointed with that. But can Nob punish him? He's got away with far too much today, the dog. But will that continue? Come on, Nob. Lou played a safety earlier, and I am not advocating that on my watch. Nobody needs two Scots in this Only Frames institution. But he's given Lou the easiest of chances. Surely this is a moment we have all been waiting for. He needs to watch the cue ball, though. Where's it going? It stays up as the editor's picks come up. And I win again. I'm a genius. I know the dog more than anyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And join us for one of our next below average eight ball games.